Hey, what's up everybody? One of the most common questions I've been getting on my Twitch streams from viewers lately is how you can get more consistent inputs on your leverless controller when doing DP motions or shoryukens. So in today's video, I'm going to show you all the different input methods that I think are the most practical and useful to use in a real match, and then some little tips and tricks to help get your shoryukens out more consistently. So let's get right into it. First, you can do the standard input. Standard input is going to be forward, neutral, down, down, forward, punch, any punch like this. This is like something keyboard players would be really comfortable with. And then on two player side, like this, right? Forward, neutral, down, down, forward. What I recommend if you're going to do this method, don't like try to push every button with your finger because it's actually pretty slow. What I would recommend is pushing forward and then with these two fingers kind of rolling is much easier. And same thing on the two player side. Don't go like forward, down, down, forward like this. Just push forward, then go back to neutral, then roll. It's much easier to do. Puts less stress on your fingers, and it's more of a wrist movement than a finger movement. And personally, I find it much easier to do. Then there are some other inputs you can do from standing, which kind of use SOCD cleaning options, which is kind of why everyone plays leverless or hitbox, right? First thing you can do is you can push forward, down. Don't let go of forward. Forward, down release down and then push punch and you get this the good thing is it's really easy to react to neutral like this and the other great thing is if you're the kind of person who struggles with getting uh sure you can off lights like something like standing light kick into sure you can all you have to do is tap down release down then push your hard punch sure you can just like that then uh the other way you can do sure you can which i think is the best way to do sure you can in this game is to do the true like SOCD cleaning method. But disclaimer, you have to make sure you're using the Capcom Cup approved SOCD settings, which is down plus jump equals neutral. Basically what you do is same as the other one, you hold forward, but then you tap down, jump and punch at the same time. So like this. So you see someone jump at you, you just go like this. It's just like, and that's as close to modern as you're gonna get on this thing. And it works on this side too. So you play neutral, play neutral, see them jump, you go like this. So you're walking, see them jump, boom. What I would recommend is picking the one that feels most comfortable for you. Go into training mode and then just do like, just you can do anti-air training or like you can just go like, like this. Go like this, turn them on, reset, just play it. and figure out which one works for you and work on anti-airing Ryu every time he jumps. Try the different method, the forward down forward method. Try the standard method, like when you see him jump. Figure out what works for you and then doing whatever works. So now that we got through that, let's talk about Shoryukens from crouching. And in my opinion, one of the hardest things about learning leverless is the fact that your standing moves and your crouching moves are kind of done differently. And you have to kind of separate your brain to thinking about standing attacks and crouching attacks. So if you're doing crouching, most of the time, you're never holding down in this game. You're holding down back because you want to block. There's really no benefit of holding down over down back because down you're not blocking, but down back you are. So let's talk about shurikens from down back on the one player side first. I think the easiest way is to let go of down back and then just tap while holding down, tap forward, release forward, then tap forward again plus a punch. And it looks like this. Just think of it as a forward dash while holding down would be the, probably the easiest way to kind of contextualize it and visualize it in your head. When you're on the two player side, you're going to have to use your ring finger to get the forward input for the standard Shoryuken. If you don't like using your ring finger, then I would recommend doing the down forward method where you're holding down forward, you tap down back and you go like this. So basically your sure you can motion is always going to be the same, no matter what side you're on. So that could be easier if you really don't like using your ring finger from crouching. I don't mind it so much, but again, you guys do you go into training mode, figure out what works best. Those are the two ways to do sure you can from crouching. And there's one more that I'm gonna have to talk about, and that is the cross cut Shoryuken. And I'm sure this has happened to you guys in your matches. Oh no! 
Am I sure you can whiffed? Even though you did the light one. Or even worse, if you do like a heavy one, it whiffs because they're crossing you up. So what you wanna do is you're gonna to wanna to do a cross cut. And what a cross cut means you're auto correcting the Shoryuken. So you're walking forward a second to like uncross up the cross up. And then you're doing a Shoryuken on the opposite side. If you're on the one player side, you're gonna to wanna to walk forward and then input a Shoryuken in the opposite direction. So how to do the cross cut DP? You're holding down back, you see them jump. When you see them jump, you hold forward for a second and then you roll from forward down forward down down back and then you push punch it's kind of like a yoga fire motion but you end on down back so if you look at my inputs here it kind of looks like this you can see it really slowly on the virtual controller forward down forward down down back punch and if it was a cross-up situation it would look like this two player side you hold forward down forward down down back punch also works for charge characters, somebody like Guile. It's not a DP, but we're gonna run it anyways. A lot of times, people will jump at you with Guile. And you get this. You just walk forward, then you release charge. Which is actually much easier than a regular crosscut. And it'll autocorrect. Like that. And I highly recommend doing it with either the light or the OD version, but the light is usually your best bet. Highly, highly, highly recommend learning that if you don't know how to do it. And that's pretty much it for how to do Shoryukens. Again, it's all gonna depend on personal preference. Pick what you like, experiment with all the ones I showed you, find which one's the most comfortable, do some player matches, some, uh, what do you call it, battle hub matches, and don't worry about winning or losing. Just try to get as many Shoryukens out as you can and, you know, figure it out. Take some practice, but once you get it, I'm sure it'll be quite consistent for you.